the engines on both sides of the airplane suddenly exploded. The engines were damaged and lost power, and the airplane began to lurch strongly. The cabin suddenly lost power, and the captain turned on the backup power to restore lighting. The flight attendants began to maintain order in the cabin, reminding passengers to fasten their seat belts and covering them. The captain then called the tower for help, and the tower ordered them to return to the airport. But the captain decided from experience that there was no more altitude to descend, and that they might have to land in a river. The captain then radioed the passengers to prepare for impact, and they were instructed by the flight attendants to support themselves in the front seats with their hands and bury their heads between their arms. At that moment, the tower's radar suddenly lost the plane's signal, and the plane's altitude continued to drop. As it passed through the city's skyscrapers, passengers were panicked, and some had already begun to send last words to their families on their cell phones. The captain forced himself to stay calm, knowing that a forced landing over water has less than a 1% chance of success, but still struggling to keep adjusting the angle of descent. The plane skidded out of the water, and finally made a successful landing on the Sardisans River.